In the heart of town, the focus was on heart health. Professionals and campaigners talked about the need for a balanced diet, regular exercise and stress management. They asked us to be alert to chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness or sudden fatigue, which could be early signs of heart problems. We can assist people um, to actually recognise that they need to take their blood pressure, blood sugar. We've got strolls on uh, smoking cessation, the Gibraltar Cardiac Rehab, Lionel Perez Cardiac Rehabilitation Centre are here um, present today. And basically it's to create awareness on heart health issues. People respond, Kevin, and like, you know, Gibraltar for that is fantastic. And although there's lots of charities, we think that the common thing we have with everybody is that no matter what colour t-shirt you have, no matter what cause you sponsor, we all have a heart. And it is a known fact that unless your heart is in a good condition, it will find it difficult if it's not for your body yeah. to react to whatever. I mean, it's very sad to say, but how many cancer patients unfortunately have to stop treatment because their body starts giving up, the heart starts going weak. So it's like the main mechanics of a car. The heart has to be in a condition to at least give you that fight that you need to fight everything else. We've got the Musicians uh, Association as well and um, also thank the community in general because they do support everything that we do and the generosity of the Gibraltarian community knows no bounds. I don't know whether it's maybe coincidence, but I think in particular this year a lot of young people have passed away for under different circumstances. So I think that's what brings it back to the front and I think Gibraltar in everything you do, no matter what you do, when it comes to the crunch, it pulls it together. I mean, and this is just yeah. an example of everything, you know? So we're, uh, I think, extremely lucky to have the community we have and I think it makes us even on days like this to feel even prouder of being a Gibraltarian. To be honest, I didn't really fully understand what I was getting myself into until I got down here a little earlier this morning and um, they got me a chair, I sat up on top of the dunk tank and all of a sudden kids started lining up to, to essentially dunk me and the, the thing about that is the more I got dunked, the more kids saw I was getting dunked, the more other kids wanted to get involved and the more I got dunked. It seems to have been quite popular so hopefully they've, they've managed to raise a good amount and I, I think uh, with, with James Niche being there now, I think that the price has shot up, no, surely? Get him in! You know, at GBC, we always ask the community to be part of the GBC Open Day. So for us at GBC, it's always really important to also go out and support other events in the community. I think we're raising awareness, it's a good cause, but also we're seeing so many young kids just having so much fun as well. And you just see it in the faces. They say something, eh, though? really competitive, like here I go, he's going down. We are introducing the uh, witch together with Jib Bricks and um, the Lego Hut and basically um, the community can assist in creating this big, big hut. The hut will go as big as the donations carry on coming in, can purchase a brick for a pound and it will go um, in support of the exhibition that will be going on next year. This exhibition and not only this hut for us means a lot. Um, Keith Bautista, who happened to be Vanessa's late husband, uh, was a Lego fanatic and it's something we had spoken about for years about creating this big heart in the same way as many years ago the Lego flag. So we're determined now more than ever that we're going to build this heart and we want to donate it to the GHA. But rather than the Cardiac Association donate the heart, we want the people of Gibraltar to donate the heart by contributing that one pound to buy a brick and say, I actually donated for that heart. Build a heart, a great project that will help build awareness about heart health. Expect to hear more about that in the coming weeks.